Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about key experiments in physics, experiments that shape the history. And today I'm talking about the Cavendish experiment, the measurement of the gravitational constant. Now, let's give a little bit of context history. Newton discovered his law of gravitation when observing the moon and the uh, solar system. So what you can determine very precisely, according to Newton's law, is the product of the gravitational constant and the mass of the respective celestial body. For example, if you look at the moons of Jupiter and you can determine the mass of Jupiter times the gravitational constant. Or you look at the moon and the mass of the Earth. Or you look at the Earth's orbit and you determine uh, the mass of the Sun times the gravitational constant. But you cannot separate these two factors and that was a big problem. And Newton was convinced that nobody would ever be able to do that. So it took more than a century until an eminent uh, philosopher of science, John Mitchell, had the correct idea. And, but Mitchell then died and left his apparatus. He already built the apparatus, left it to Wollaston. He did not know what to do about and again it ended up uh, in the hands of Henry Cavendish who eventually in 1798 perform performed the experiment. And the basic idea is you have two spheres of lead and they should, there should be a gravitational attraction of course because both, both are heavy masses but uh, at the same time this force is very tiny, it's about 50 uh, millions less than the gravitational attraction of the Earth, of course, because the Earth has 10 to the uh, 24 kilograms, as we know today. So, uh, if you look at these two masses, you can attach these to a bar. Let's say this is the bar and the mass attached here and the other one here. And you append this bar at a tiny fiber. And then you realize that you need uh, the force is very tiny but you need also a very tiny force to twist that bar which is suspended at the fiber and so all what you need to do is place another test mass around here and another one here and then you will observe a tiny uh, twist of that bar which can be measured at this uh, attached fiber and the second ingenious idea is that you attach a little mirror to that fiber and you um, let a right light ray be reflected from that mirror so at a distance you observe a very tiny you can determine very tiny twists of that of that fiber that's the basic idea very ingenious you need a lot of experimental details to do and as I said, uh, 100 years after Newton's law, Cavendish performed this experiment. And the interesting thing is that until today, this is the most successful setup for measuring the gravitational constant. And there are a couple of other interesting uh, experiments, but basically this is uh, the, uh, still the, the idea behind. And there, there is a kind of electronic version with which the most uh, precise experiments are done. But uh, at the end, it's all Cavendish's experiment that shaped history. The gravitational constant was, of course, very, very important. I have made other videos about that. And yeah, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. If you're interested in fundamental questions, subscribe to this channel.